and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 2nd, 2020. Well, regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package, um, basically lawmakers are saying that it will pass immediately after the elections. Other politicians, on the other hand, are saying that it won't pass until around the beginning of the year. Tomorrow is election day and Donald Trump is demanding the final results be done by the end of day tomorrow. As well as he wants all the ballots to be counted for all the states by midnight tomorrow. He also says that he will contest any ballots that are counted after midnight tomorrow. Maybe his lawyer will. COVID-19 is only getting worse in Europe and in the United States. We have counted over a day the high case on Friday of 99,321 positive cases. 31 states have already set daily highs for COVID cases. And then Trump says after the elections, he will fire Dr. Fauci. Do that nice of him. Fire the United States leading expert on COVID-19 so we can actually start listening to him and take more of what, what was it he wanted us to take? Didn't he want us to take us um, Clorox, a disinfectant, to get rid of uh, the virus? I mean, if I remember correctly, a while ago, he was we, we heard about that. All, it was all the social ne- media about how he wanted us to take disinfectants to get rid of uh, COVID-19. And in fact, some of his dumbass supporters actually did, and it killed them. That tells you how smart the people who fall down Trump is. Senator John Thune says... It will be easier to strike a stimulus deal after elections because the politicians' stakes will be lower. Senate Republicans will be less concerned about angering their voter base by raising the amount of the, of the after elections. The Democrats will no longer be worried about Donald Trump taking credit for the stimulus package. And basically, let's take a look at what our leaders are saying about this whole thing. We got a direct quote from Donald Trump that says, um, after elections, we will get the the best stimulus package we have ever seen. We will have a tremendous stimulus package immediately after the elections. Nancy Pelosi says a stimulus package will pass after elections. However, other politicians are saying that the stimulus package won't pass until 2021. Major McConnell said that he expects the stimulus package to pass right after the beginning of 2021. Some are saying the release of the stimulus package will depend on the outcome of the elections. And I don't just mean the presidency. I mean the elections as far as the control of the Senate and control of the, control of the House goes as well. I mean, right now the Democrats control the House and the Republicans control the Senate and the Republicans control the presidency. But as we also know, that Donald Trump says that he is not opposed to spending more money on a stimulus package because he wants some, because if he gets voted out and spends more money on a stimulus package, it's all about his image and his ego is going out as a hero, even though he's not. But <clears throat> basically, they said the um, Democrats control the House, the, Senate, the Republicans control the Senate, but the Republicans are a threat of losing control of the Senate. And if the Democrats control both the House and the Senate, we are expected to get a very large stimulus package, regardless of whoever the president is. Because, as I pointed out earlier, Donald Trump wants to spend more money on stimulus than the current Republican Senate wants. And Biden is all open for spending more money on the people than he is on big business. But if, if the Republicans retain control of the Senate, I expect a continued gridlock as far as debates going on with the stimulus package. Because you know how that they will still fight over the small details and the wording in the de- in, in the stimulus package. In political news, Trump says there is a fear of voter fraud and that he wants a halt of the counting of the votes at the end of day tomorrow. He also said that he would he and his lawyers will challenge any voter any votes counted after election day, but the law. The legal community says the challenges that he will put up will fail. And in COVID-19 news, the COVID-19 problem keeps getting worse in Europe 
and the United States. Last week, France and Germany announced their second lockdown. And Belgium has announced its second lockdown. It begins today and will last for a minimum of six weeks. Now, we are just waiting for our lockdown as well. I mean, because are they going to keep all the same essential employees that they did before the, on the first lockdown? Because if they do, that means my little slip of paper that says I'm a central worker will keep me working. Even though I hate, I, I dislike saying this, I would rather not go out there and risk coming home and giving my family COVID-19 just to put together auto parts part-time as a, as a side gig I do. I mean, come on, that doesn't really help out a lot, does it? But like I said, I mean, if... If we have a fully controlled uh, House, Senate, and Presidency, we are expected to have a very, very large stimulus package. Probably one of the biggest we have seen in American history, from what I understand. And like I said, as if you've been paying attention out there, you've seen all those, uh, what, what do I want to call them? I want to call them Trump heads, because they're Trump's pets, basically. Those good little lap dogs. How they have basically escorted the, the Biden... Um, I would call it the Biden caravan. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not a caravan. Um, campaign bus directly through Texas and back out of Texas without stopping at all. And this has also happened in New Jersey as well as one other state where they blockaded the streets so the Biden um, campaign buses could not get in to educate or, should I say, enlighten the people who actually want to hear them. And these are the same people that when we started having all these peaceful protests, they were bitching and complaining about the protests and how it shouldn't happen and, and that's a waste of money and blah, blah, blah. And now the tables have turned and what are they doing? They're doing the exact same thing that basically they preached against. So all these Trump supporters out there, they're a bunch of idiots because they can't make up their own mind because you need to have their master, Donald Trump, tell them what to do, the good little lap dogs, so they can get a nice little treat at the end. So, as you can see, I really don't support Donald Trump, because when it comes to the United States, he has done nothing for the United States. He has downplayed the COVID-19 on multiple occasions, even during pan even currently he's done it. I think he did it in Florida, he downplayed it. His little supporters are preventing... Uh, Biden from going into their states, that's fine. They don't want. I don't think we want to actually have a, a Democrat inside of uh, what was it, Brokeback Mountain, Texas, because they all want the big old cornhole there, don't they? But that's also just me talking, because I can't. Because the same thing would have to go with New Jersey and the other state that also blockaded Biden from entering in. And yet, the funny thing is, is. Where was the police during all this stuff that was happening? Why didn't the police stop what was going on? Because these people were breaking the law. But yet, the police did nothing and just let it go on. How nice is that? Police that don't want to do their jobs? I mean, come on. I mean, you're still on the, you're still on the clock, dogs. Do your jobs. Break the blockades up. Let Biden in. Let the people who want to hear him, hear him. If, you don't, if you're a Republican and you don't want to hear what Biden has to say, then don't go to his rallies. Plug your ears, close your eyes, go to sleep. Do something that you don't have to worry about hearing what he has to say. I, on the other hand, actually would love to go to a Biden rally and hear what he had to say because I voted Democrat. Because Democrats are talking about helping the people out a lot more than Republicans ever were. Because if you remember in the very beginning, when the, after the CARES Act was passed into law and everyone got the stimulus checks, in May, they passed the HEROES Act, and the Republicans didn't want to do nothing about it. They just said it was dead upon arrival. They just sat on it and sat on it and sat on it and made the D Democrats basically come in with more stimulus packages, more stimulus packages. And finally, when the Republicans wanted to do something about it, they offered a half a billion dollars, no, wait, sorry, a half a trillion dollar stimulus package that would have done exactly nothing. And in fact, before this, all this whole election stuff started getting really real, that's all the Republicans were really doing was uh, trying to pass itty bitty stimulus packages that would do nothing for the people but it was only for the businesses so as you can see I don't support Republicans 
I, would, I don't think I'll ever support a Republican because I don't agree with their way they go about doing things. And I'm sure there's a few things about Democrats that I probably would not agree with as well. But right now, I don't have a problem with Democrats because they're the ones out there trying to give money to the people, give food to the people, you know, try to keep people employed, try to keep this country going. Whereas Republicans are trying to give tax credits to big businesses, trying to steal money from paycheck protection plans and other nefarious and wrongdoings to the people. So this is a few reasons why I don't support the Republicans and why I do support the Democrats. But like I said, these are just my, my opinions and my thoughts. You are welcome to your own. And I hope that the, the, everything comes true for you. If you want to, if, if you're, yeah, I can't speak right now, sorry. That if you wish to report, vote Republican, be my guest. I will not stop you. If you want to vote Democrat, same scenario goes. Be my guest. I won't stop you. Let's just hope that the, the lesser of two evils, as it, as it were be, comes out on top. So basically, if, if Biden wins, he's the lesser of two evils because we all know Donald Trump's nothing but a sexist. And I can continue on the big list, but I'm not going to. But he's a, he's a sexist liar, basically. But this is, and always will be, the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. You guys, please stay safe out there. And remember, we're on this together because we're all we have.